the View Stashes tool has received a few updates in version 0.7. If you haven't seen the previous video yet, then you should watch it now. In addition to the index, the HUD will now also display the stash name if the user has set a custom name in the sidebar panel. The default names will be ignored. You can adjust the wire opacity by alt scrolling, just as in the normal transfer or conform tools. A major new addition is the ability to swap stashes using the S key. Swapping means, the selected stash object will replace the current active object, and the active object will take its place among the stashes. This is a powerful concept, that allows you to easily maintain and access different versions of a design. It works the same in object and edit mode. In previous versions Mesh Machine had a dedicated clear stashes tool. In version 0.7 it has been removed, and View Stashes has the capability to clear stashes now. And so you can mark a stash for deletion, using the C or D keys. The to be removed stashes will then be listed at the bottom. Use the A key, if you want to mark all stashes at once for deletion. Once you finish the tool, the stashes will be deleted. But note that this is not final, the cleared stashes are now orphans, and can be accessed using the View Orphan Stashes tool. Stash retrieval has also been refined, and Mesh Machine will select only the retrieved stash objects, once the tool is finished. Also, if you abort the tool after having retrieved a stash object, the retrieved object will be removed automatically. Finally, if your active object is used by mirror modifiers of other objects, note that Mesh Machine will attempt to update the mods once you swap a stash. Understand however, that this will only be done for stashes that share the origin with the active object, what I call self-stashes. Furthermore, if your active object is in a group, as defined by machine tools, then the swapped stash object will automatically take its place in the group as well.